is necessary for all Hindus to be aware that there are pointed issues that need to be addressed and not shy away from asking questions or exploring these issues or these ideas. You must explore it to its conclusion because your religion is robust enough to take on the challenges. It is robust. If it was something that was kind of shaky on the foundation, then if you ask robust questions, it will collapse. Some people run away from this robust question because they know they are on shaky foundation. They say, don't ask, please leave us alone. You know, I won't make any comment about any other religion because this is not a point scoring exercise. But the religion that you come from has always given you permission. This is not new. Hinduism has gone through so many different phases. But sometimes it was almost atheistic, you know, in a certain period. It has, it's prepared to go down that line even. So we have, not, we have seen Richard Dawkins in the past, nothing new. So we've gone through a variety of different phases and we are ready for that. We embrace the idea of an evolving living religion. So here is this, if you like, considered to be a living religion. And then you go to modern India and you say, oh dear, what are these guys doing here? They seem to have lost the plot completely. I've just been talking about divinifying humanity, seeing spirit in man and women, seeing and serving God in humanity. That is the, the esoteric the idea of Atman and this idea of principle-oriented religion. It's esoteric Hinduism. And then you've got all these gods and goddesses and you offer this to them and that to them and donate money to these kind of big institutions and all that. Surely we've lost sight of the plan, if you like this, the, the ethos of Hinduism. Surely we've lost. And this is why it's a question from the heart. It starts us up, especially if you go from the West and you see some of these atrocities committed or carried on in the name of religion, it will study you up and say, this has gone wrong. It's stinking. The plot has, we have lost the plot. You should address this issue. My answer is this. Majority of human beings, including the Hindus, look, never think that we are special and superior. We are not. We are as bad as any other human being, but sometimes worse in many cases. Be aware of that. Don't be frightened to take it, understand it. You see, when people, every human, struggles with the deeper ideas of religion, what does he do? He falls back on the superficial. So the deeper ideas of seeing and discovering the spirit as your essential nature and seeing spirit in others, seeing God in others. This is esoteric Hinduism, the deeper idea. It is difficult to absorb it, digest it and, and put it into practice in our lives. So what do we do? We fall back on the superficial. What is the superficial? Either we focus on the narrative, pure storytelling and just wallowing the stories, you know, sentimentality. It's called purely wallowing in sentimentality, Swami Vivekananda's words. You love, Hindus love that, don't you? That's why all the soap operas are so popular. You love this, you know, round the merry-go-round and this villain doesn't die and you die and everything. It goes on and on forever and we, we love it. We are fixated on that. We love sentimentality and this wallowing in narrative, stories. This is one way. So when we can't understand the deeper idea, we hang on to the story part, the narrative and make a big thing out of it. So we enhance or give greater credence to the narrative rather than the philosophy. One place where we fail. It shows that we can't relate to the deeper ideas. Let's hang on to the stories. And I told the modern Hindu youth, do you believe this actually happened or this exaggeration? No, it happened, Dilip. I said, it didn't happen. Think for yourself. <laughs> Think for yourself. No, we can't. Don't, don't call about religion mythology. If you, if you call it mythology. So grow out of it. So either we fall back on the narrative or the second thing we fall back on is the external is, is this idea of doing liturgy. We went to the mandir and we did this Kodash Puja and we did this, you know, Arpan Kairu and Akairu. You know, so you basically, because you don't relate to the deeper idea, you, you kind of grab the superficial. It is easy, suppose you are well to do, it's easy for you to say, I'm going to offer this much gold and this much money and this much milk. To Shankar Bhagwan in the temple and you get servants to carry it for you and go click your fingers and you go in and it's easy to do that. But to say, look, stop seeing God in this image and start seeing God on the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the street outside your house. When you see that destitute girl walking up and down hungry, do something for her. That's your living God. That's, a, that's an image of God. This is a living God in front of you. That's your religion teaches you. If you don't want to do that because this girl, then I have to look after all her life. How can I do? I don't have time for that easy to just throw some coconuts and flowers at these images and get away with it. So this is what happens. This is if you like, look, it's a very cutting comment and I may get a lot of stick for it, no, but I need to talk. When we struggle with the subtle, the difficult, we know what Swami Vivekananda said, not Swami Vivekan, Swami Ashokanan, one of the modern proponents of Hinduism, very lovely, enlightened personality. Some of the Swamis are enlightened, you can make out. Do you know how you make out? The material that comes out of the mouth is original. 
They never borrow from anybody else. They come out naturally. There's a Swami Ashokanand in San Francisco who passed away in 1969, a recent one. And he used to say, make fun. He said, do you know what happens? The same question, you know, same answer, but in a different way. He said, when you worship the God in the temple, he doesn't kick back. You know, he just sits. And you offer, put, pour water over him, pour milk over him, he just sits. When you try and worship the living God, he kicks. When you try and interact with the living kingdom, say God in seeing and serving God in humanity, to see Shiva in Jiva, that's the idea, you see, translating theistic Hinduism to non-theistic Hinduism. When you do that, that is tough. And you don't want to do that. So you hang on to the superficial. So rather than doing something which is philanthropic for the greater society, for the greater humanity, it's easier to just offer, you know, karas chada one, pani dio ne, ha, bili patra, it's easier. So this is the plight of the modern Hindus. Because they can't relate to deeper, they hang on to the superficial with all their life. You see, this shows weakness, weakness. It's best to acknowledge it. By acknowledging it, you see, another thing I'm very keen that happens is this. A lot of good things that we are exploring in the United Kingdom should be re-exported back to India. I'm hoping these kind of questions, you know, this is a question that is sent, has to be, this question has to be fired at the Hindus in India. Not at me, but he has fired it at me in UK here, but it's fair enough. Mm -hmm. But these things should be exported back to India. This idea, the, what are you doing? What are you doing? Grow up. Revigorate your religion. See and serve God in humanity. That's a more difficult job, but that's, that, that is demanded of you in modern times. For how many, these are Vivekananda's words, for how many lifetimes you've been bowing down to these images? For one life, now, worship the living God, not the, the imagery, the living God, the man on the street struggling, do something for them. One lifetime, devote to this living God, says Vivekananda, see what happens to India. But we are not able to do it, we are weak, so we hang on to the externals and grab them with all of us, this is our God, don't, don't criticize us. Well, we have to. Free e-learning course in Hinduism. To register, please visit www.hindu-academy.com. Talks on Hinduism. Sponsored by People Care. Encouraging caring for the elderly in their own homes. For more information, please visit peoplecare.com.